Hello everybody, I just and in and here and I'm, I'm here with the uh my third I'm just gonna not just keep a track of numbers anyway, but anyway, um so this is the most expensive uh figure I got from G Fest this year. And it's probably one of the holy grails of um uh, of any figures collection or just Bandai in general. So here he is Kaiser Ghidorah from Godzilla Final Wars. Now, let's just give right a hand and just get to the detail. And the detail, it's just, you just had to own this figure to really just, just be in awe of just how great this figure looks. From the wings to the heads, just every part of him just looks it's masterful. It's, this is one of the masterpieces of uh, Bandai. Just overall, just a really, really awesome figure. Here are the legs. The underside of him just looks, wow. Just, just all of them. Just looks fan freaking tastic. And the paint job too, it's really simplistic because he was, he was really just gold and darkish blue like really darkish blue and here it's black but you could mistaken it for darkish blue just everything down to it just uh, just the little edges the fins spikes just everything so now let's get on uh, to articulation you probably just saw right there the next can move they can move 360 so you can put them in the I'm in different poses. So you have him just looking uh, just three ways. Um, and then um, and then his heads, each of them can rotate 360. So like that. The uh, legs can move, or at least the front ones can. Uh, they can rotate uh, 360, I believe. Yep, 360. So that's cool. The uh, tails can move. Mine are a little bit loose, so... Uh, but I've heard that uh, some are squeaky and some aren't, so... I don't know, maybe just, just normal. And then the ankles. Though, it's a little bit useless. I guess they're like... I don't know, just like... Hmm, I don't know, but... Yeah, the ankles can move. <laughs> so, that's... Let me see, so that's six... Eight, ten, twelve points of articulation, I believe. So, yes, yeah, just, just really, really nice for a Ghidorah figure. So let's get on to sizing. See, seeing as how I do have the um, incarnation of Godzilla, uh, this Ghidorah fall, the uh, font. Here is the Final Wars Godzilla, and this is really accurate. Ghidorah is really big in the movie, and this this works. This really works. So, yes, uh, um, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, so if you have Kaiser Ghidorah and uh, and Final Wars Godzilla, the uh, six inch version, this definitely works. Or really, just any Godzilla in general. Like, uh, let me pull out actually. Um, let me get out the Heisei Godzilla. Yeah, as you can see, just. It works. It really works because Kaiser Ghidorah was 140 in the movie, and then here is Godzilla right here. So, yeah, definitely works. Definitely, definitely works. So let's bring out some other monsters. Um, let's bring out because I don't know why. I just feel like uh, bringing this guy out. Gamera. Um, I think this would work if um if Gamera was a little bit smaller, but. You know what? This definitely works because Kaiser Ghidorah is just a big monster, and really, like, shoot, like any monster would be, uh, would pretty much be dwarfed by this guy. Um, let's just bring out. I know this is just, just this is gonna look ridiculous. Ultraman. <laughs> this doesn't look fair. This really doesn't. That just shows you. Then he's a Kaiser. <laughs> okay, um, 
Let's bring out some other monsters. Um, let's bring out because I just feel like bringing them out. Final Wars and Gears. I think this would work if they were to uh, meet up. Um, if um, if let's say, let me also put them to the side. Let me bring out. Die again. I think this one worked. Um, um, I think I again was 120 in the movie and get all was 140. So yeah, this works. But if you want a um, uh, uh, the um, uh, the um, uh, the um, what you call it? Dang it. The chainsaw guy again. Let me bring out the. Choke again, guy again. And yeah, this definitely works. This would definitely work. Um, Kaiser Kador is a little bit smaller, but hey, this would definitely work. And and like I said, if you wanted to, with the uh, Choke again, guy again, you can have the, uh, the uh, Godzilla vs. Guy again, Final War style. So yeah, this just looks like a really awesome thumbnail right here, actually. Set this as your background now. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, so let's get these two. Uh, and then, yeah, this is, the, um, this is better than these age monster arts. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Alright, so, um, so one more final you know, wars figure here is Mothra. I think this would actually work. Um, Kaiser Ghidorah, or just Ghidorah in general, is a really big monster, and uh, he would dwarf Mothra, like, really, just just looking at the wingspan, too, like, but I don't think the wingspan on um, on uh, Kaiser Ghidorah is really that big, so, mm, I don't know, but just an overall, just, this one looked really, really nice, and, um, and uh, let's just bring out um, all the incarnation of him. Um, or the main incarnation of this guy? King Ghidorah, the Heisei version. Um, this, this looks pretty good. Um, if, but, um, uh, uh but again, though, the uh, Ghidorahs are 140, so, uh, really, it should be more like this. But, hey, you know what? It's fine the way it is. Definitely fine the way it is. And then we'll bring out two more. Um, Let's bring out. These two are just for funsies. Titanosaurus. Um, I think you were uh, Final Wars um, size. I think that's what it work. Let's put it to the side. For another monster. Destroyer. Again, this works. This really works. Especially the Bandai one. And looky looky. Look what we have here. Yep, this is the f uh, this is the finale trio. So yeah, if, you know, uh, so if you wanted to uh, have the uh, trio of uh, of monsters fight Godzilla, here you go. Titanosaurus, Destroyer, and then uh, Kaiser Ghidorah. So yeah, there you go. The finale, the uh, finale trio, pretty much. So yeah. And then finally, Rarity, this guy is rare. Um, usually, okay, so I'm going to get to the story part in a little bit. But, um, but yeah, this guy, he does not come for cheap. He really does not. Like, maybe back then, but now he, he goes for high prices of 100 bucks. Even I'm about to tag here, and yeah, sure, I didn't get the tag, but you know what? I am fine with this, and oh yeah, one more, one more. One more size comparison. I completely forgot I was gonna do this one because because a lot of people think that these two are competitors for the toughest monster. Here is because this is another main one. Super Mecha Godzilla. I think this would work if uh, these two were to either battle each other. I think this would work. Yeah, I think this totally works. So. Yeah, I just wanted to bring this guy out for 
Mama Mood because because he is the best uh, Mega you know, Mega Godzilla ever. Okay, I'll stop. All right. So yeah, there's a rarity. He is extremely rare. All right. So um, so now we're gonna get into uh, uh the um uh the uh, story uh portion of his part. So um. Uh, so if you want, also you don't want to hear it, then I'll just give my rating now. So detail is just, it's just supreme. Um, the paint job is excellent. Articulation, he has a lot. Um, and size, you know, sizing is really, really good. Uh, for, uh, for six inch figures. In rarity, he is extremely rare. If you can find this guy for a good price, then definitely get it because this guy is not cheap. And overall, I'm just going to give this figure a 10 out of 10. Just a flat out 10 out of 10 because of how great this guy is. Okay, now that I got my rating out of the way, and if you don't want to see this video, or really, I just don't want to see this, um, this portion, then you could just click off now. But if you want to hear my story, then go ahead. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna get into the uh, uh, the story portion. So, really, um, so, okay. So the way I got this figure is, um, I've been wanting to see. Okay, so basically, all the years I've been going to Jeep Fest, I see this guy going uh, going around. Um, and sometimes I check on his price, and sometimes they are ridiculously high to like 110 or 120 or even 170 from when I saw um in 2015 I believe um it just overall um he's been one of those figures I'm all like he looks really cool and but he's really expensive but it's also because of in uh just really just trying to fit uh figures in that's that's one of the main things that I try to keep in mind is um um, is how I'm gonna get these figures back home because yeah sure these figures are great but I want to make sure I can get them home um so um you know, so really I've been putting this guy out for a long time until I had like uh, the right ways to uh, get uh, to get him back home um awesome uh, 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 so yeah this was a Friday buy so this was like the first day um all right, so now we're gonna get into the uh, G Fest story of um, of this figure. So originally, uh, so I was in the dealer's room. I had um, I had eighty five dollars left because I like to bring a set amount to the dealer's room on um, on a on a specific day. So like Friday, I brought down one hundred five because I spent twenty on the uh, Geronimo one. Um, so I so I bring one hundred five. Uh, 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 to the dealer's room that day, because I really don't like to um, uh, to overspend if I don't need to. So I found a Kaiser Ghidorah for um, uh, uh, for one hundred, and I originally thought that I had uh, one hundred on me, and that I brought more than that. I did not. Uh, so I'm like, ah, oh, shoot. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so could you please uh, just hold this uh, a Kaiser Ghidorah for me? Uh, uh, so I went back to the room. That I was staying in. Unfortunately, the key did not work. I was, I was just really, I started to get really depressed, and um, and I was like, okay. Uh, so I just went back down, and after five minutes, I came back up, tried again, and the room key just failed. So it was really, it was really disheartening. Um. Uh, so I went back down and said uh, to just forget about it. I was a little bit depressed, but then, but then this guy just brings out this Kaiser Gadar uh, 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 at a table. I'm all like, uh, "How much is it?" It, and I kid you not, the exact uh, the price was exactly how much I had left, which was eighty five bucks. So I'm all like. Oh my god. Uh, so, uh, uh, so I gave him the money and it was exactly 85 bucks. And boom. That was my final my uh, final buy of Friday. And I, all I have to say is 
This was probably the luckiest figure I've ever had to collect. And this was this was definitely a um this was definitely a buy to um to you know, basically this was just luck. This just pure pure luck. So um so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little story right there. And that's it for this uh, review. So yeah, um overall this is just an incredible figure. If you could get it for a cheap or just a, or just a reasonable price, go right ahead and get it because it's it's worth it. I'll I'll straight I'll just straight up tell you it is worth it. So yeah, so that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you later. Hail Hydra.